Well, here we go again. Morning time. Uh, days. Anyway, a few days into our transit, we're going up uh, the river to Georgetown. And um, just pulling up the anchor now, checking it out of the USA. Nice morning. Nice weather. Yeah. In gear. So, we'll see you in Georgetown. Gonna see if we can get a COVID test done in Georgetown before we go to the Dominican Republic, even though it'll be older than a week when we get there. We'll see how we go. So we've been lovely lady and we've been accepted to get a COVID test. So yeah, she's just doing the paperwork for us and we'll be able to have an update one before we leave, that's perfect. Mm. Oh, hey Rick. Hey. That's all done. Yeah. They're emailing us the results. Lovely ladies. Emailing us the results. Terrific. Another job done. Tick. Big tick. Ne next stop. Um, Customs Custom Border, border Patrol. In the middle of Woolly Walk. Still trying to find a place. Uh, we've been in Wilmington, North Carolina for about five months. Uh, no, sir. No. No. So we've, we've come down here from, from Wilmington. Yes, sir. It's on the boat. I don't have it with me because we've walked around to the port. Um, did they send it to me by email or by phone? Officer Cheney in Wilmington arranged it all. He did, but it's. Uh, I think I've left it on the boat because I didn't think I'd need it. Oh, hang on a minute. Here we are. License, license number. Are you ready, sir? Salacious Star, S-A-L-A-C-I-A, Salacious Star, to my wife and I, Australian, yes sir, uh, Dominican Republic, no departure sir, we, we need to leave the United States today, so, uh, we have it, we're not in, uh, about, well, an hour ago, maybe, three quarters of an hour ago, so I don't need to actually get a stamp in my passport, sir. Is that is that right? That's a relief. So I just need to advise you that I am leaving the United States today and heading to the Dominican Republic and it'll all be and it'll all be fine when we come back in next hurricane season. Yeah, we want to come back to uh, Wilmington for the next hurricane season. No, sir, sailing in. And we've got our B1, B2 visas. No, November 9th. They, they gave us six months, November 9th, which is today. Ah, oh, so that's it. Oh, mate, you've made my day. Thank you. Uh, wow, we were stressing. Yeah, remember how we checked out the USB eyes? Yeah. Um, they didn't stamp our passport there either. So I'm not quite sure how the administration catches up, but he's got a cruising number and he's got our names. Because Officer Genie up in Wilmington has recorded our passports against our cruising permit. And so he's logging our departure for the Dominican Republic today. So, yeah, good day. All that stress. Oh, mate, thank you so much for your help. Look, it's invaluable. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, bye. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, God, we were so stressed. Hey. Yeah. So what's next?
Um, he's putting us down as leaving Georgetown today. So we've got till today. So. A lot, um, but we did check it. That the check-in's gone, fine. We got the phone back working again, so we could find our way to the supermarket. But we saw at McDonald's on the way, of course. So we have to stop for an ice cream. So we're just sitting down having ice cream, and then we'll finish off with groceries, back to the boat, and out of the US. Cheers again. Beautiful Georgetown, South Carolina's just can't wait to come back next year if we can. We're officially heading out and staying out overnight now. All our things that we had to do for the internet reception, whatever's not done, isn't getting done, probably until Dominican Republic. So, let's hope everyone had a good time and didn't miss us when we're out of communication. But we did the best we could to contact everyone before we left. And the winds are very favourable for us to leave now. this morning hopefully it brings better weather because we went out with a really our first night out and you know from a distance from shore in the North Atlantic for some time and all we had was shitty weather um, not what predict wind had forecasted at all uh, really sloppy. We've had to motor sail all night despite the strong breezes that just for the direction we wanted to go we've gone way out to sea. We're, now we'd have to double back a little bit. Uh, it's, yeah, it was just a really interesting night so um, no camera work. I was feeling a bit off colour. Boy was a really good boy last night. Rick did a lot of the shift because um, during the night, so I'm going to let him have a big sleep this morning. But uh, yeah, it's bitterly, bitterly cold again. We've got the little back screen up that we jury rigged last year. Oh, gosh, the seas are jumping up still. Um, yeah, 
past year, so we'll just hopefully it'll just get warmer the further south we go. Um, that vessel we, is only 0.8 nautical miles away from us and we're going to be passing at 0.7. Oh, maybe a bit hard to see. We're out here uh, 60 something nautical miles off the coast of uh, USA and here comes a yacht crossing our stern. Can you see him? over there. According to AIS he's doing 6.9 knots which uh, we're not um, but we're heavily reefed for the night he's not yet. He might have a tad more crew. Hmm. Been an eventful trip so far it's been really joggly one of those joggly ones. There uh, were strong westerlies blowing off the continental US and the water depth out here for quite a way is only like 10 to 20 meters deep so it's not very deep at all so the fetch builds up real quick and it was just so an uncomfortable night and Lou's probably talked to you about that but yeah really uncomfortable pain in the neck we just got buzzed by a fighter jet have a look at him <laughs> He came screaming down that side and I popped my head up and waved and he did a big circle around the bow of our boat. Loose down while I'm asleep. There's no one! There he is over there. That's the guy that was popping flares out. See, he popped flares. There you go. Popping flares. Oh, I wonder whether they come back for another run. Oh, I'm excited. What are they? What did Laura call it? The the sound of freedom, I think it's called. Geez, they make a noise when they tear the air apart.